All right, you are back with Josh's video diary. I'm going to update the name soon because uh, I want to manage expectations, um, which I did mention before if you watched the previous vi a previous video. Um, but anyway, that will come up later. Um, and uh, yeah, you're at my video diary where I muck around with things, play a bit of computer games, which I'm bad at or find really boring play around with cameras and right now I've got the Insta360 X3 which is a really cool camera um, despite a few annoyances um, that it's uh, not very good at recording long videos but um, apart from that it's actually quite fun just you know everything has a limitation um, now what was I going to show you yes uh, I'm testing the manual shutter speed um, I shot at aftermath and I set it at one one hundredth of a second uh, on the stick. Now, if you're on the 360 mode, because um, I'm going to output, but I'm going to output this video both to flat and also 360. But if you're on the 360 version, you can spin around and have a look at my room, and you can actually look at the mirror, which is behind me, like it's there. So they kind of like go that way and look at the mirror. Um, it's on a selfie stick, but if you're not on um, the 360 version, I'm just going to turn around so you can see the mirror, um, like like by doing this. There you go. You can see the mirror now, right? Um, this selfie stick, it's great. It's a, it's the one that David got, which I need to gift him, called the Insta360 Invisible Selfie Stick Plus Tripod. Um, I've also got a quick release adapter, which is also excellent. Um, because, oh, I, might as well, I wasn't going to show you, but might as well. Because it makes it easier to take off the camera, duh. But, like, it's a, it's a 360 camera, and if you don't have that, it's kind of awkward to, to spin it around. You don't want to drop it because you're going to scratch the lens. So, you press the button, and it just comes off the stand like that. See the stand? And then to put it on, you just click it, and it's great. Um, I actually found the prongs. There's a GoPro prongs that can pop out. I can't show you. Oh, I can't show you. Oh, I can show you, actually. You can kind of see them there. But um, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'll do a proper review of it later. Um, yeah, I know this is rambling, but this is my diary, so I do what I want. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. No one's forcing you to watch it. Um, anyway, okay, let's talk about what I wanted to talk about. I looked out the window, and guess what I saw? And I also wanted to test the shutter speed on, uh, to see if it looked any good in this kind of light. Um, 80th, 1 over 80th of a second. That's kind of fast, but you need it, because otherwise you get a bit of blur. Um, anyway, check out... Oh, I should I should be facing this way. Yeah, that's better. Um, check out the view of my window now. When I look out the window, I saw something because I'm about to go and get dinner. Looking out the window now, and you should see it now. Actually, it doesn't look like much because it's so wide angle, this camera. Um, but they have a lit up, I think it's probably a, like a parachute material, blow up jack-o'-lantern outside. Um, very, it's that orange dot. And it actually looks open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down and, um, walk around it and just do a bit of a camera test um, for the la for the for the land for the lantern for the pumpkin yeah that's what I'll do um, and I'll probably start as a new video because this one is actually kind of lost its focus I've been talking about I should just talk about one thing per video in fact I might start doing that, make it a bit more focused. Just have one topic per video and keep them shorter. 
uh, for some videos. Um, some of them I might just practice talking about whatever. Just as a, it's kind of like a skill I want to develop. Um, it's kind of also a very boring skill, but if you can talk about anything anywhere or any time, um, when you really need that skill, uh, you will have it and uh, it will be useful in that moment. Um, and it's a bit of a being comfortable in front of video slash knowing that I'm going to publish this publicly. Not that anyone's going to watch it, but like literally anyone around the world could watch it as long as they have an internet connection. And like everyone can get internet somehow. I mean, someone that doesn't have their own internet in Africa or something could go to a library or something and or borrow their friend's phone and watch it. So we're so interconnected. Um, like this is like you don't realize how powerful it is to be all connected together. And to have tools like YouTube and different video tools and stuff. Um, so being able to be comfortable in front of a camera is a very useful skill. And uh, that's kind of why the videos on this channel are very boring. And I don't expect people to watch them and be fascinated by this channel. I don't expect people to... I don't expect this channel to have like a hundred million views. It's not the point of this channel. Uh, everyone assumes that, oh, you you should be doing 15 second things that grab people's attention and a hundred million people look at it and... But no, that's not the point. Not every video needs that. Um, if, you know, I'm trying to achieve something else. And I guess that's why people don't realize and that's why people might... Some even very well intentionally say, oh, hey Josh, I think you should um make your video shorter and not talk about all this boring crap but you know that's kind of the point of it anyway just me rambling again um, no one forced you to watch it and no one's really gonna watch all this anyway so I guess that's all okay um, just played a bit of Starcraft today and uh, it was really good some guy told me to watch this video and he wanted he really wanted me to watch it he said he'd watch it with me so he did and then I learned some fundamental basics that uh, I have to work into my game because I'm not, yeah, my fundamentals aren't that strong and fundamentals are everything, right? If you get the fundamentals right, then you've got a good strong foundation, right? You've got a good base and you can build off that and you can be solid. So, yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for this video, but, um, I am going to go down to the street and check out the lantern. And this Halloween, um, it's actually, by the time I post this, it's probably over Halloween. But um, this Halloween, I'm going to do a lot of video stuff. So it'll be, yeah, it's a good time to get dressed up and, ooh, bump the camera. That's going to blur on the, that. so that, people have been asking, why is that frame blurred? It's because I bumped the selfie stick. I'll do it again on purpose so people can kind of see. Uh, one eightieth of a second shutter speed. It doesn't really matter what light it is. It's just, if the light's dim, it will just be high ISO. But now you can see in the mirror, if I get my fist and bump it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be blurry. That's kind of what caused it. So, yeah. Or if I, if I don't hold it that steady, like if I... Kind of like that. It might cause a bit of a blur. Um, okay, that's it. I'll probably... Yeah, I better go down to the street. And I'll call this video Random Rambling Thoughts and there's a Halloween pumpkin that I should check out. Or something like that. I, I'll think of something else better, maybe. And, um, yeah, I better say goodbye because I'm going to record again. So, bye. All right, turn off. I've got to remember that the when I've got the camera inverted... I can't see the button. I gotta remember it. It's on the right side, so I can turn it off like less awkwardly, like like now. <laughs>